Here's our signal and power layer estimator. This tool calculates number of signal and power layers required for a PCB design. You can quickly get the optimum number of signal layers as well as power layers by providing the necessary inputs to this tool. First, select the units using this dropdown. By default, the units are in mils and can be changed to inches, millimeters, micrometers, or centimeters. To get the estimated number of signal and power layers, you need to enter the length and width of the board in inches. The total number of component pins, wiring channel width, via pad diameter, and minimum trace and space width in mils. This illustration defines the input parameters for your better understanding. Let's assume we have a 2 by 2 inch board with 400 component pins, 100 mils wiring channel width, 20 mils via pad diameter, and 5 mils minimum trace or space width. To compute the number of layers, hit the Calculate button. We can see that the tool has recommended 4 signal and 4 power layers for this PCB design. If we increase the size of the board to 3 by 3 inches and recalculate, we can see that the recommended number of signal and power layers is reduced to 3. Apart from signal and power layers, the tool displays circuit board area, estimated number of nets, and net density per unit area. With our signal and power layer estimator, you can easily gauge the number of signal or power layers in a go.